Yes, yes, boy. Kizan here back with some more Darken Battle goodness and on this video today, my guys, we're going to be looking at the units that we may be able to get in the part two celebration of the sixth anniversary. So, uh, you know, we're going to have a bit of a discussion, a bit of a theory crafting right here. And we're going to see, you know what, what we could possibly get. So, you know what, if you do like any of this type of content, Darken or Legend stuff, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. My dudes are trying to hit 300, but without further ado, let's jump straight into this. And if you think you know what we could be getting, definitely drop it in the comment section. You know, I want to see a bit of comments this time, so, you know, let's see how it gets down, but... Without further ado, let's jump straight into this and we will be looking at certain trends from the past anniversary. So, of course, first we did get our main LRs of this section. You know, we got the LR MUI Goku and we got the LR SSB Eco, you know, Vegeta. So, part one LRs completed. You know, we know what we already got with a free to play Roshi. You know, the Roshi pretty good. So, now it's time for part two, which is coming in about five to six days' time, I do think. So, Let's start thinking about what we can get. So before we do look into what we think we can get, let's go over the guaranteed stuff, we should say. So first of all, this is a Universal Survival Saga celebration, which means that the LRs we get will be a part of the Universal Survival Saga. I don't see how they won't be because they always do the same thing based with each other. For instance, we had year four we had the lr super saiyan force gt based and what did we end up getting we got an lr baby lr gt trio that's pretty nice and this also goes inside to what my next point was going to be so if we look at the part four i mean part two of year four we had a super int unit and we had an extreme agl so we had an extreme lr then if you look at year five we ended up getting an extreme physical LR and an extreme int unit. So what this shows me is that part one of the anniversaries will always be two super units. You know, they always from they usually always have two super units starting from like the second anniversary where they are always two super units. So that is what they will always do. But for the part two, they always do throw in either one or two extreme units. So we are looking at getting one or two extreme LRs, probably one. We will talk about that in a second, but that is pretty good. So it gives us some ideas about what we could get. Now, going over the extreme units now, there are not that much units in the Universal Survival Saga that are actually extreme. You know, there are not much. So for instance, one is hit. We can see there he is extreme. Uh, Golden Freezer. And uh, Bergama. Okay, so these are the three, I would say, that are the main focus from the extreme side. And honestly, it could go to any one of these. Now, there is also another person that could be on the extreme side that I'm not talking about because he doesn't have a card to go on. But that is going to be, uh, let me just show you. Dragon Ball Super. Annie Laza. Annie. God, don't know how to spell his name. Oh, yeah, okay. That's going to make it way easier. So, this guy is also. Okay, he does have this a fight from Dokken. So, this guy is also being accounted for. So, I would say LR hit. LR Golden Freezer, LR Anilaza, or the LO, LR, sorry, Trio de Dangers. Now, I think that is literally going to be one of them. That's going to be one of the LRs for certain. I think it's definitely going to be one of these four. Now, who would I give it to? Honestly, let's break it down. So, Golden Freezer, we did just get a Golden Freezer. You know, we got the transforming one. Do we really need another Golden Freezer this early? Not really. I mean, if it would be nice to get him, but I'm not too sure that they will 100% give this to us. Hit. Now, Hit is an extreme unit. He does definitely, you know, play the part. But I think having an LR Hit right now 
would be kind of a bad idea. Like it would work really well, but if they're going to give us a new hit, especially an LR hit, I would like to see it from the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 fight and not really the Universal Survival Saga. I think that is where he was the most prevalent, you know, he you know, took out Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, big fight with Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, there could be a dual celebration. I think that is the time for him. They could still do it for Universal Survival Saga, but I think it would be a missed opportunity in the future. Missed opportunity. Next, we talk about Annie Laza, and I think this is the perfect time for him to get a buff. Now, teams he could help. Artificial life forms is one. He could be like that artificial life form support unit, keep those two attack and defense 30%, also while leading them. That could be a really nice addition to the team. Maybe you could help out Giants, but Giants need kind of a lot of help, so I don't know how that would work. But, you know, I can see him doing some good stuff. Honestly, this is a definite contender. Also, with the trio of dangers, like, you know, they were part of the Universal Survival Saga, and they got not as much screen time as the uh, the LR Kale and Khalifa. You know, the Kale and Khalifa, they had a lot of screen time. These guys are a little less prevalent, but... I guess you see these guys more than you saw Chi Lai and Lemo from the Dragon Ball Broly movie, I guess. So they could always make this unit into an actual LR, make it pretty good. I don't know. We will probably will not be seeing a Universe 9 category though. So that's going to be a bit of a mismatch. So I'm only talking about one of the LR slots. So it could literally be any one of these four, in my opinion, for one of the slots. Which one it will it be? I got no idea for that one. Although I'm hoping it's either the Tree of the Dangers or maybe the Annie Love. So now it's time to talk about the main focus of what the Super LR could be. Because, you know, a lot of people have been talking about the Super LR. So let's break it down. Let's break it down. So first of all, of course, it's not going to be an Ultra Instinct or a Vegeta. So no Goku, no Vegeta for part two. Let's go on to see what it could be. So first thing I think it could be is going to be an LR-17 purely by himself LR MVP-17 and the main reason why I think this is a high possibility is he won the Universal Survival Saga he was the winner you can't exactly have the saga without having the final winner having a proper car so this guy is kind of old about three years old i mean two years old pretty much two and a bit but you know you could always get another one and i think it would be a really nice addition to Darken. he could have like maybe a unit super attack and do as a goku and freezer on the team maybe they can make a free to play goku and freezer also to help with like a unit super attack uh, revival, maybe, I don't know, an active skill could definitely be a good thing, but I could see this one definitely being an LR by himself, because I feel like it's a needed thing. It would help out Androids as well. Android category doesn't exactly need it, but it would be a nice addition. Honestly, they have not had any support in quite a while. Would be a nice touch. The next one, oof, I don't want to say it. I really don't want to say it, but... The Ribirian squad, as in Ribirian, uh, Ribirian, where are the other two? Uh, Rosie, I think it is, and the other one, which is AGL. Yeah, so, these three units. Now, I, I'm of course not a big fan of them, but honestly, they could literally be the LR with a Peppy Gals 170% lead, because... Peppy Gals does not have a proper lead, you know, a proper strong over 130% or 120%, whatever it is, right now. And before you say anything, remember we got a Dragon Ball Seekers lead, T plus 4, HP, attack and defense 170% on the fourth year. So what's to say we can't get the same thing for Peppy Gals? I mean, would I really run it myself? Probably not, but hey, it's something that Docker needs. It is always a possibility. I hope it isn't, but as I said, it's always a possibility. It could definitely happen. Next on the list of possibilities is going to be a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. 
a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Kefla with an active skill could be happening because Dokken loves the Universe 6 skills. So Dragon Ball in general for some reason loves the Dragon Ball 6 skills. Check how much Khalifla units we got, check how much Kale units we got, and then compare it to how much Kaba units we got. You know, so Kaba kind of gets left in the dust, unfortunately. Like I would put him on the list, like getting a transforming Kaba, I would love, but you know, I can't really put him on here. I don't think he's gonna get the love he deserves. So more than likely it could be a Kefla Super Saiyan 2 also on deck. So I mean that would be nice again for Universe 6. Rapid Grow, Patala, not so much. Patala kind of needs a new leader in my opinion, but we're going to see what happens with that. Anyone else around here that could potentially be the LR? Now, some people have said, maybe, maybe we get a, uh, oh, wrong click, wrong click. Maybe we get a Topo, a God of Destruction Power Topo, but he starts off in base. So he starts off on base form, you know, then, you know, active skill transformation requirements whatsoever for after four turns, bang, into the guard mode. And what this means is that you can run this guy alongside with the new LR, which would be amazing because, you know, you don't really want to replace this guy. This guy's an amazing support for the team. Don't clash with names, please. Just, you know, if you're going to give us a topo, make sure it starts in base. Same thing, I mean, they could do the same thing with Dispo, but I don't think Dispo did enough. If they were going to do a Dispo, I think they would do like a, a Dispo, Jiren, and Topo all in one card. Because I don't think Dispo had that much of an impact compared to Topo, if you know what I'm saying. Topo had the transformation, you know, the guard destruction power. That was more impactful than just, you know, super speed mode. I mean, super speed mode compared to turning into like a god of destruction, if you know what I'm saying. Pretty different stuff, pretty different stuff. Other than that though, I think we came to the end. I mean, yes, there is many other options. Like, Gohan Piccolo was going to be one of them before, like, it actually came out. Now they are just a normal TUR, so, you know, at least we still get one. But it will not be the new LR, of course. And that is about it, so... Some people have said Berserk Kale, you know, transforming into Berserk. Also an option, yes, but... Those are my picks of what we could get for the part 2 LRs. I think we're going to get one super one, which I talked about, and one extreme one, which I also did talk about as well. Let me know what you think. Some of you guys may have way different opinions than me, and I hope you do. I hope you do. Let me know in the comments what do you want to see and what do you think we'll get, because I really want a transforming Kaba. We're not going to get one, are we? <laughs> But anyways, that being said, I'm going to end this video now. This is Kizan. Thank you for watching. I'm going to bow out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video in a bit, dudes.